Hi everyone, it has been a while since I've done a 360 video, so this is going to be a 360 video. If you're new to my channel, you can interact with the screen and look wherever you want. But, by using your WASD keys, or your mouse, or your phone. <clears throat> Anyhow, so I've gotten the lights hooked back up, the marker lights hooked up now, and it's all, if you look down here, if you'll see it, Kind of run through the floor how nice and pretty it's going to be and this will actually be the subfloor but i got to prep the subfloor area to get it done so it's time to do another washing cycle inside and this is somewhat dirty in here not too bad but it's finally still left enough that i can do it
Oh, it's so satisfying to do this too because it's like I can get rid of all the crud. And uh, I didn't know this, but these were the stitched together and had some tape holding down. All these things fold out of the way. But apparently they did this so you can take it off of the chassis if you want to move it to another chassis, like a newer model. But I'm going to, I was thinking about there's dropping them underneath and giving me all the extra space, but it's all aluminum and it's one big giant heat sink, so I think I'm just going to put them on top and screw them down in. I was concerned about originally about uh, dissimilar metal corrosion, galvanic corrosion, but I was looking at the bolts tying the front cab to this and even though it has a rubber washer even around the bolts back over here like you guys have to follow around around this where it's tight tight into the the steel cap from the aluminum cap they don't look that bad corroded so i don't think i need to worry about it too bad so i'm going to come in here and bolt this down with some self-tapping bolts but i wanted to get it clean in here and kind of figure out where i wanted all my access points and just kind of see the whole thing with the floor up. And I'm going to bolt these down. Actually, I'm going to put some uh, butyl tape underneath it to help with vibrations and noise. And then just bolt this all down. I think I'm going to do a little cutout in the middle there for the uh, access to fuel tank so I don't have to drop it to clean it. That's a huge fuel tank, too. Let me throw some soap on here. We'll finish cleaning up the inside.
I might leave it uncovered while it dries and I gotta go out of town tomorrow. I might leave this open so the kitty cats have a place to safe to run and hide when the neighborhood terrorizes or dogs come over and terrorize them a little bit. Um, but, uh, yeah. I might actually want to get in there and do some painting on the frame from up here. I don't know yet. So, we'll let this dry and we'll come in and drop the beetle tape in it. If you guys look right here, this, this is not access to my fuel tank. I want to leave that access for it. I might even get in there early and go ahead and do something uh, along the lines of some uh, fuel tank maintenance because diesel fuel has a uh, it's very similar to water and the Pacific weight of it and water can get in there and it'll collect in there and you'll get water in the bottom of your tank and you can get bacteria in the water and it'll clog, clog up your fuel filter or you just get some bad diesel fuel and it'll clog up your fuel filter and there's a fuel strainer in there so I might open that up and do that while I'm here I also might go ahead and leave a panel here cut a panel out and leave it where I can access this panel, maybe that little bit from the inside of the cab in here and then screw it all down. That way I can do maintenance to that part while I'm on the road and I don't have to drop my diesel tank to do it. I mean, you'll have to remove how many gallons that is. It's probably 50 or 60 gallons at least there. And it's something I can do myself versus paying someone to do it. So. Yeah. yeah. That's what we'll do. They got some of these supports in here. I might do the rubbers on here, the, the body mount rubbers. I might not. I haven't decided yet. The front ones need to do, be done, but the ones back here do not need to be done. Let me move here. It's a little bit dangerous in here. It's like tightrope walking. But mainly the two on the back of the front uh, cab needs to be done. I'm trying to debate it. I just want to do that or I want to do them all. It'd be better to do it now why everything is light and easy to do versus later. But the ones back here don't look bad. The ones up front do need to be done. So I will decide that later. Anyhow, hopefully you guys enjoyed the little 360 look inside the ambulance. And yeah.